Okay, this is our fifth video in the Composer series. Let's go ahead and show you how to make a table here and put a little um, image and some information beside it. You'll see it quite often in pages and it's something most people want to know how to do. So what we're going to do is first we're going to make a table. Again, insert table. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have our image on one side and our text on the other. So I'm doing a two cell table just like this. You'll see there's one and two. Again it starts out with the actual big borders around it and we don't want that. We're not going to have any borders at all. So again my cursor is blinking here. I'm going to double click. Go to my table and again I'll show you rows and columns uh, we're gonna leave that as it is and uh, the width depends a lot on the size of the image that you're going to use so you know you need to plan ahead a little bit and you know you, you've already chosen your images I spoke of earlier for your page so you've got an idea of what size your images are already in this case in this and I'm going to use a an image that's about, oh, I think it's 250 pixels. And you do not have to get this exact, but you need to know the approximate value of them. Uh, and our table width is 700 in this aspect here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this table, my image is 250. So I'm going to make the table width 500 pixels. That'll allow... 250 for the image and 250 for the text. I'm going to make my border 0. And I'm going to leave this for now at 2 and 2. Again, between the cells and between the border and the content. And I want it to go center. And we went over this earlier on your background, so I'm not going to cover it again. If you want to use a background color different than your page, then that's where you would choose it here. Doing a buy, you'll see that it automatically jumps into the center and removes the border. Okay, so that's our first cell. And I went ahead and closed that because I wanted you to see this. When you close it, you see how it outlined that. Okay, let's double click on it again. And you'll notice it goes to cell. What I want to do here is my width. I'm going to go ahead and set that to my image width somewhere around 250 I'm not sure exactly and I'm going to have in this one I'm going to have the content alignment is is going to right now stay as it is I'm going to do an apply you see that it, it jumped a little bit wider there do it okay now I'm going to insert my image into it click my image click the open image choose the file and since I've already inserted my header earlier it's already ready to go in the correct folder and this one I believe is the yes flat and if you want to you can use this text again if people are not using it and also I will point out that some of the disabled people it will read to them what the image actually is. So in this case we're just going to put uh, a flat image. Just to, You can put a description whatever you want. I'm not going to have a tooltip. And you'll see that the image appears there. Okay. Now I go over to my other cell here. and You'll notice that it starts out in the middle here. And I'll show you in a minute how to align that if you wanted to. So we'll put some text in. I'm going to go ahead and do a center. And example. Do a couple of returns. And I will go one. And once I get my one there. I will highlight it, go up here to my bullets, and a bullet appears. OK, 
Okay, if you don't want this in the center, which I wouldn't, I'll go ahead and do left align. You'll see that it goes over there. You hit enter and do your next line. Next line.